Welcome to the DocPods Podiatry Review and today we'll be talking about clawed or retracted toes. Here you can see a typical patient that has clawed or retracted toes. The problem we usually face with clawed or retracting toes is that they rub or cause friction on the dorsal aspect of the toes. This leads to corns, calluses and ulcers. Technically a clawed and a retracted toe are very similar. The only difference being that the apex of the toe in a retracted toe doesn't usually touch the ground. So a clawed toe and a retracted toe have a dorsiflexed metatarsal phalangeal joint, a plantar flexed proximal interphalangeal joint, and a plantar flexed distal interphalangeal joint. When we take a look at the x-ray, it's easier to see the orientation of the joints relative to each other. Retracted and clawing toes usually occur when the long flexors have a mechanical advantage over the intrinsic muscles and the extensors of the foot. Usually you find them in conjunction with a foot that is pronating and has a tight calf muscle. Treatment of retracted or clawing toes should be aimed at reducing pronation, decreasing calf tightness and decreasing the imbalances between the flexors, extensors and the intrinsics in the foot. Treatment of the dorsal corns and callus over the toes is also very important to try and avoid ulceration. This is also most effectively done in conjunction with appropriately fitted roomy footwear. Retracted and clawing toes are a very common problem that we see every day as podiatrists. If we treat them appropriately, we can avoid most of the major complications that arise from the callus and the ulceration associated with the clawing. Thanks for watching the DocPods Podiatrist Review. If you like the content, can you please comment and like and share us below? Or if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments box below, or you can contact us at docpods.com. Thanks.